Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Figured I'd make another video on Gmail tips and tricks just to show you some things that you can do with Gmail that you might not have been aware of or may not have uh, fully been aware of or understood. So, I actually wrote a blog post about this last year uh, called Gmail Tips and it, I went over a couple things including labels, themes, chat, and accounts. And I just provided some basic information of uh, what these things are and how you can use them. So. I figured that I would go into Gmail and actually show you guys how to do this in a video instead. So the first thing that I had was the ability to use labels to organize your email in your inbox and stuff like that. So labels are pretty simple. They're just uh, a way for you to tag emails as like personal, travel, whatever you want. You can create them and Gmail actually comes default with a couple of them including personal, travel, receipts, and work. And these are just standard email, uh, st standard email labels that come with Gmail here. Um, so if you have an email in your inbox, I don't currently have any, all you need to do is click and drag over to personal, for example, and you'll it'll get marked as a personal label. A personal label will be applied, applied to the email, sorry. And that basically means that it's organized into the personal section. So when you want to see only emails that are marked as personal, you can just click on personal and there'll be only emails that you've marked with a personal label. Um, the same goes for any other label. And the cool thing about labels is that you can actually change the color so you can see them better uh, when they're in the inbox and all mixed up together. So you, all you need to do is click on this little uh, gray square and you can choose a color if you want. And then when you're in your regular inbox, you can see, if you see a blue bar on an email, you know that it's marked as personal. So we'll change that back to normal. Now if you want to create a new label, all you need to do is click on six more here or however many more you have and click create new label. And we'll call this one video. And once you create your new label, you should see it. And you can st the same premise applies. You just click and drag into the video label section, and you can apply a color if you want. And uh, there there are other options too as well. You can show the uh, personal label in the message list. Uh, only show the label if there are um, unread emails that are associated with it, or you can hide it all together like that. Um, so if you want to manage your labels or delete your labels, all you need to do is click on Manage Labels right here, and you can simply uh, configure how your labels are. System labels are labels that are um, they're built into Gmail. You can't really delete them. You can hide most of them or all of them, but you can't delete them. However, at the label section where you have the custom labels, like personal, receipts, travel, video, work, you can actually um, del delete and hide these and stuff like that. So for the video email, we'll just remove that. All you need to do is click Remove, then you can click Delete, and there you go. It's gone. Um, so labels are a pretty cool way to organize your uh, email inbox if you're getting lots of email. Uh, it's pretty cool to use, and it, it'll help you uh, to see which emails are from who and stuff like that. The next thing that I want to talk about uh, is the ability to cu have custom themes or themes that have already been made for you by Gmail. All you need to do is go to the little Settings button, Mail Settings, and click on the themes option here and you'll see that there are a bunch of different themes that you can choose from uh, in order to customize your Gmail experience. The original theme right here, bold blue, this is the default theme for Gmail. Um, it's right up here and then there's other themes you can choose. Some of them just have the same basic idea, it just changes the colors a little bit. Uh, there's minimalist here. But then there are other themes which start to add like images and stuff like that. Like this one right here, changes the background. And desk right here, the desk theme changes it to look like it's a desk with like a pencil and whatnot. The beach theme makes it look like a beach, obviously. There's a bunch of different themes you can go through. I personally am using the summer ocean theme right now, um, but it's up to you. The Android theme is pretty cool in my opinion too. Anyway, if, you, if you're not happy with any of these themes or you just want to customize the theme to be your own theme, all you need to do is click on create your own theme. A box will pop up um, and you can customize it with your own background images, colors, um, stuff like that. I actually did a video on that too if you're interested to see. Um, but anyway, if you are if you don't care what theme is, you can just click random and it'll give you a random theme which is pretty nice. Um, anyway, we'll go back to Summer Ocean. The next thing I want to talk about for a tip or trick would be the chat, the ability to chat with other Gmail users um, from within the Gmail interface. And this is pretty nice because you don't have to have any external programs installed or anything like that. It's all done online within the Gmail interface. So I don't have any contacts online right now, but if I did, they'd be listed right here under the call phone button. 
And all you need to do is click on their name. A little chat box would pop up in the corner over here. And you could just chat with them. And every chat would be logged in the all mail section of your Gmail. Um, another cool thing about Gmail chat is that it allows you to call someone's phone. For example, if you click that, you can end up, uh, you can just type in a phone number and you, it'll let you call it for free, provided you have a Google Voice account. However, you do need to download a plugin to do this. Um, the next thing that you can do uh, with Google Chat is actually sign into your AOL Instant Messenger. All you need to do is click in this, click on this option right here, enter in your credentials, and you're good to go. And again, you don't need to download anything in order to talk with your AIM buddies either. Um, so these are some basic um, tips and tricks for Gmail. So uh, if you have any tips or tricks that you'd like to share, please feel free to leave a qu comment below. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, pl also please feel free to leave a comment or message me. If you're interested in what I'm up to, please feel free to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash jamiemcg. And for more tips, tricks, how-to videos, news, feel free to head on over to technicalcafe.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.